What was that? What was the street that went in by the Naval mm -hmm. something Air Base in Washington? Nichols Avenue. We were on Nichols Avenue. Daddy was in his full uniform for our marriage. And, and what uh, were you wearing? Oh, I just had a little plain, pale blue uh, wool Christmas style dress. Oh, it was a dress. Well, nobody wore pants back then. Women didn't oh, wear pants. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And, uh, Sorry. It was the middle of winter. I didn't know. <laughs> well, it, the white, white wool dresses were real popular oh. then, but they came with a oh lot of uh, like German or Swiss embroidery, oh. yeah. embroidery all over them. You know, real colorful. So I decided on this little plain blue dress. Anyway, we were on Nichols Avenue and a lot of traffic, of course. And uh, uh, Daddy had had the car washed, and he said the brakes were wet, and we slipped into the car in front of us. <laughs> and the fellow jumped out and came back and was just, rah, 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 you know. And Daddy got out in his lieutenant's uniform, and he said, I'm sorry, sir, I guess I stopped too quick. <laughs> he took the blame because Daddy was an officer and she wasn't. And so but we had to, did we have to get the radiator fixed that night? Suit, blue suit, blue dress. Oh, the dress. dress. Princess dress. Princess one. You know, just. Oh, I thought it was a suit. No, I didn't have a suit then. I don't think I'm in good. Good, because it sounds good. Warrant it would. Warrant it. The great what? Mom, did did Mimo make your dress? No. Uh, and did did anybody take your picture? I, bought, I had bought two dresses, dresses since I went to work there. Well, well, you were shocked. Well, that's okay. Well, where's the radiator? down to Warrington and went 
and the church lights were on. But nothing was really planned ahead very well. And we stopped there. And they said they were going to have a church. Somebody was in the church. I think it was somebody in the choir. Weren't they going to have a midnight service? Yes. And she said, if you wait, wait a little while, you, our preacher can marry, will marry you before the, just before the service. So we had to wait, and we were married about 1130. And in the meantime, it had started raining, and somewhere along the line, it started sleeting and freezing, like tonight. And uh, we had a, wasn't much traffic, but we had a heck of a time. And we, 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 we never, we never, we never got home that day. We, 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 we still failed to pick up. Spent another on the difference. Well, and I. But the first night we spent with June mm -hmm. in Staten. First night we spent it with June in Staten. Mm -hmm. That's as far as we got. Oh, I thought it. I thought you were. I need the Uncle Dick. Well, the next morning <coughs> we got up and tried to get to my home, you know, to grandma's and granddaddy's. And we couldn't get up in the ranch road except to where Andy and Uncle Dick used to live, you know. Or the McLaughlin's. Oh, okay. That no, no, at that was in there. No, no, was, was Jimmy. No, no, she had an apartment, no. she had an apartment no. on, um, what was that street where she had an apartment? Long. And your mother was there, too. I don't know where you're talking about it, Jimmy. And we still couldn't Mommy, get home, yeah. and they didn't have a telephone. Maybe that's why you have such a, an affinity for Stanton then. Yeah. Yeah. And they didn't. Maybe that's why you have such a We couldn't let them know because they didn't have a telephone. Oh, right. So it was the 27th when we finally got home. So when you walked in the kitchen, what did you say? Well, we just said, you know, oh, you find they were tickled that we'd finally gotten there in the storm and everything. It was Still, real bad storm. And uh, so did you like to back there? When we uh, what? <laughs> uh, they weren't quite ready. They wanted me to go to school first. Mm -hmm. And I had told them we were. I had written and said we were going to get married on the way home. Oh, okay. Well, they didn't quite accept that. Mm -hmm. They said, well, they had the beds beds made upstairs. <laughs> and. Uh, oh. I said, you know, Mama and Daddy, we did get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay, do you need to sleep with Aunt Mama? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was, six, it was 66 years ago plus two days when we finally got home. Gracious. Wow, wow. And they, when you know, they, didn't know where, they didn't know where we were or anything. No. Nobody had fun. No, not at that time. We'd had country phones Long. before that, which, you know. Right? You got an operator far away, and they'd plug you somewhere. Right. No, <laughs> everybody had a certain ring. Oh, okay. We had two shorts and two longs. You know, three rings, three rings, like three rings. That was your way. Huh? But then early caller ID. <laughs> well, you know, do you remember the old telephone poles? Along the road, but when I was little, there was no sign of any kind. No, that this was when I was <laughs> eight or ten years old. We had some, just and then they went away. Why did people have phones? You know, we had an old phone when I, when I was growing up. Yeah, we had up the old phone to creep up to there. But why did we'll why did they it. why did they stop the service? Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know either. The poles were still there with the little green, greenish glass things up on them. What were those? Insulators. 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 Okay. So, uh -huh. Gail, when you... So <laughs> when oh, it's not Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you were living with them in Covington growing up, they didn't have... Out, outside of Covington, they didn't have a no, phone? No, Grandma and Grandma Oh, they didn't have a phone at all. Oh, oh my, we... Yes, we had a phone then. Oh my gosh, party line of 13. So, was I really? <laughs> I was in eighth grade. I finally like have a crush on a guy who has a crush on me, and I just want to talk to him a little bit. And we had a five minute limit, and you would be like, um, Mrs. Whatever, you know, um, you can hang 
Oh, you can hear her breathing and listening. That was Miss Suits Me down the road. Oh. I like to listen in. And yes. You know, when you're just horribly so. What's her name? Florence Elder. Oh, oh, I don't remember. Pappy, the lady that lived down the road. <laughs> the lady that lived down the road from us in Huntington. Oh, she had two dozen. Her Well, there was, there was a they woman that lived down the road close to the store. A little old lady lived there by know. herself, and she was always listening in because she was on our party line. Was her name she she Florence, 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 Florence Elder? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Oh, my gosh. What is that? I think it is it. You know, it 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 none of you have been like, whatever. Miss <laughs> somebody. Oh, I don't know where it came from, but it came to me. Florence Elder. I think it's an old 